I'm good just watching things. <laughs> I know. I just it's it's going to be too like I'm not even going to take that much out of it right at 2 because again it could change till 4. Like from 2 to 4 cuz then he talks. He like starts talking and then he gets right. questions and then and I honestly don't even know if anything's going to come out of today because again he he's not going to say we're not going to lower rates in the first 6 months even if they're not going to. He's not going to say that. Because the market would fall. That's right. So I don't, you know, whether the market rallies or does nothing, I just don't, unless he says something that's so wishy-washy that the market gets nervous, but it's usually in the question and answers is when the market starts to react, and then that's like the next hour. Or it might not react till tomorrow morning, till people have a chance to digest it, you know what I mean? Exactly. Anyways, I did get your messages last night. I've been going to bed so early with the classes and trading <laughs> and everything. I've been so exhausted. Like, I've literally been in bed, like, with my pajamas on by 7 o'clock. But I got your messages, <laughs> and then I saw where Tessa was, and, of course, I saw the lawsuit news. And and then when I got up, it was nowhere near. I mean, it was still down, obviously, but it was nowhere near where it was when you sent me that email. Well, yesterday it went up because GM was up. So that kind of, that's what I thought. Yeah. And what I did was, uh, today I got out of, I got out of the UPS. Okay, yeah, so did so I. I got so did I. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if that had much legs anyway, because, I, you know, it's not, I don't think it's a, it's not, it's different than Google, you know? No, you did, Google, it, you, did it, I, you did a great job because I was talking about that yesterday in the options class. I said, not everything is a BA, not everything. You can't hold everything to a piggy target. And I said, point I, in fact, UPS, because again, I don't want people to start thinking they can hold everything now all the time because that wouldn't be good because obviously the market's still volatile. Right. And that's what's funny because Ben and I were talking last night because I he was asking what my plan was for today. And I already knew yesterday I got out of the 210 put in BA because it did go to 199. And I'm like, and yeah. I, I knew that one was out till 29. Mm -hmm. But I thought, you know what? I had two, I had two puts left. I had the one 200 put that's going to expire on Friday. And I have the one that was going to expire the next Friday for 210. And I said, at least I'll book some money and I'll let the the other one, no matter what happened, um, you know, this morning. No, that was and, great. And that was great. You did. I mean, there's yeah. just because even if you have seven days left in something, it doesn't mean you have to hold it. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and and I was up a good amount. I I was I got out of that at thirteen fifty. I I put my order fill order and and I bought it for six eighty. I was so good. I I yeah I was over a hundred percent. So so I was pretty happy with that and that I could let the other one ride. And then the two Teslas, I I really thought I could get out of one first thing this morning, the one ninety, and I didn't. Um, and then it's been up. But, you know, we have two days left in that, and you never I know what can happen. I wouldn't worry about that. I, I see what's going on in these things, and I'm sure people and it, I'm sure people did kill did kill them. But, again, this is exactly what happens, and then yeah. they end up working in our favor. You know what I mean? But, but again, you've been doing so well. So, so where are you at right now? So are you... Are so you, I, have, I have one the one BA left that expires Friday. That is the 200 put. Mm -hmm. And then I have two Tesla puts. I have the 190 and the 185 that expire on Friday. Are you still I got on Google? Yes, and I got a, one Google. I did one Google, mm -hmm. which I was surprised at how cheap it was. It was 282 for... A, and I actually took it for the 145. I waited till it... You know, this morning how it kind of rallied up a yeah. little bit, almost 45. So I took the 145. So I'm, I already know I'm green on that, and I did put an order out, but we'll we'll see where it goes. Well, we'll see what so, the market does between now and four. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. are you are you have you grown your account since the last when we talked Friday? Uh, well, because of now I'm in so many, like, well, what, I have five? Oh, yeah, that's right, because you're in stuff. So yeah. it's really hard to, you know, I, I haven't grown it since. I mean, I, ju I just took, I took the UPS, so that, you know, grew to another, you know, two, 250 bucks. Um, but the, te the, oh, when I took the Tesla out to 216. Okay. And I actually, you called it for 180, but I actually took it for 187.50, so I, I moved the strike up, which Wow, you're is really bad. getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> It rallied up. I'm like, I'm going to take it here. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I, I think um, you're doing good. I mean, it's it's funny your instinct said that about the UPS because, again, 
I mean, it's a it's a trade. You take it, you book it, you get out, boom. You yeah. know, and you could have got out yesterday, and I feel like I missed my exit yesterday. Then and then it pit, and then I said, ah, and then and then today. That's what I said. I'm going to get out. Well, it fell into the clothes yesterday, but still. It did. It did. I watched it. So yeah, and that that's the new that's the newer me as opposed to the last time me because the last time me I would have hung on to it, and I would have waited more till. It expired the ninth, so I might have even given it into next week, you know, oh, and then wow. it failed. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been the old me. Yep. So, and, and Ben and I had a really good discussion last night because he said, "Well, you," he's when when you take one that's winning, and he says you can get out the hundred percent. That's a you know fifty to one hundred percent. That's a good you know good win ratio. He goes, "Well, why don't when when it's down sixty percent, why don't you get out like and and." cover your loss or like uh -huh. you know like mitigate your loss and I said because I'll tell you why and I had a perfect answer for him <laughs> I said I was in the BA and I was down 60 percent and then it or was it the Tesla the very very first Tesla. BA of the year you mean uh, no the one last week I, I think it was the Tesla I said and I was in the one Tesla and it wasn't it was sidelining and I said I was sixty percent down, and if I got out of it, I never would have had the drop, and I never would have made the money. Yeah. So I said now instead I I watch how much I take of things. This way I'm not panicking that I might lose in them. Yeah. So that but was my answer. So that, that was, satisfied them. Well, right. You you know from being with me for a long time that things will go on to work that are down fifty percent or more. You know that just from being with me, even from last yes. year. But the other thing is, too, you can have as your plan that you're going to kill everything at 50%. But it never works out that way because something could go against you overnight. And then then you don't like, again, that could have happened with Tesla. And then the whole thing would have been down 100% and you couldn't even like so you can have a plan to get out at 50, but it doesn't you can't sometimes it doesn't work out that way. And so That's you can't true. even plan that. You know what I mean? You don't always have the opportunity yeah. to even get out at half. So I just figured I'm not going to, I'll just keep these small positions like this. I could have taken two contracts in Google today, but I didn't. I just took one and let me make a little bit of money. And then, you know, if the, if the BA, you know, uh, who knows? I mean, we have two more whole days. So who knows what could happen? Well, because, if you earnings, at the because it's earnings, because there's earnings out. Now, I didn't look at what's out tomorrow night, but because it's earnings and because of the Fed, yeah, that could go. That still could go. Right. Right. I think Meta's out soon, isn't it? Let me Nothing look. was interesting tonight, unless I didn't look right. I didn't see anything of interest tonight. It was really Qcom is tonight. Qcom. But uh, I mean things that would affect the market I was talking about. Yeah. See, let me see tomorrow morning. I thought Meta's coming up, but I might be wrong. Might oh, be tomorrow day. night. Tomorrow night. Okay. Tomorrow night is Apple, Amazon, and Meta. Oh, there you go. There you go. I yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, Microsoft though was a nothing burger. BA well, was a nothing it's, burger. It's, 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 yeah, the the the, the, it, the it was down in the post market. I, I, I know. I saw it. Now. I saw it. Yeah, but again, there was that no way that, that I would have shorted that. We, I wasn't going to do it oh. last night. No, because to me it was down what two bucks, and that was just an invitation for people to come and buy it. I yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Google was definitely the better one. So how many but, think you have a lot on then now right now? How many trades? So you I have on? I have two BAs, two Teslas, but that other Tesla's not out for until the sixteenth, and one Google. So so, so five contracts, three tickers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. And, and I would love to get out of Google, so then this way I want to leave myself some room then for Friday morning, and the, you know, the Amazon, the the Meta, and you know, those are all three good ones. So. Well, I mean, who knows? We may be doing another BA tomorrow. Let's see where BA opens tomorrow. Yeah. Because I've seen it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And again, I then somebody brought up in the room. Someone must have been pissed in the room about the rally, you know, and been in the right. puts too. And I said, don't, you know, you can't freak out. You know, nope. this is, again, it, it opened lower. But they said nothing. They said, absolutely. How can, how could they do that? I don't know. But they can, I mean, this is what I don't is. know. They gave no guidance. I, I, I know they gave no guidance, so nobody knows how they think they're going to do the year. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. <laughs> nope, it is not good. Yeah, but that's but like saying, "Well, another accident's going to happen any second, or something could happen." 
and they just think that you know that I I think that they what they think is that it's a bargain and that it's going to go up because even like even Ben will have this idea. Well, well, you know, it's Boeing. So what? You know what I mean? Companies after a while aren't the companies that they once were. But I mean, remember you were you were with me back when when everybody was talking about it when they wanted to go long it, which I don't remember what happened. It was so many years ago after it made new highs and then it had that monster gap down. You remember that? We should talk about that in the yes. room tomorrow. Remind me to talk about that another day. Remember that, that? was I think that was their first problem. I think that's when the th they they found out that there were problems with the 737 Max. Okay. But uh, that was like gangbusters. That was like, you know, five, six hundred dollars a share back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. But it's been nowhere near that. Nowhere near nope. that. It's not, I'm not, uh, they're not going out of business, obviously, but it's been nowhere near those numbers. And you had somebody during the pandemic that wanted to buy it because I thought it was a real good bargain. Yeah, that guy never like, did the like class. Nine something dollars. <laughs> Yeah. And you said, you know what? It could fall more. Like, this is not a place to go long. But that's how people lose money. Those are the people that, that are good candidates for my class, but then never take my class because they can't wrap their Or they don't take your advice. Yeah, they don't want to take my advice. I don't know. They don't want to listen mm -hmm. to me. And then they take trades and lose. J just like the guy that was talking about shorting the video, which then he said he didn't do. He, he said he didn't do it. I hope he didn't do it. I um, hope he didn't. Yeah, yeah, because that was a disaster, a disaster as well. So I always think those people that have been in other classes and done other platforms, and so they get all these mixed messages. See, I'm a, I'm just a Melissa. You know, like, you are the <laughs> only one that I've ever followed. And, and so, but I think that that's what makes the difference. And I've seen, how long have I been with you now? So probably seven or eight years. Oh my God, and, has it and been that I've long? seen, your, you know, when you post your 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 win, especially your, your option winnings, your day trade winnings, you know, and so that's why I follow you because yeah. your your results are right there. Yeah, no, that's right. I remember you didn't take any classes before. Nope. Me. Yeah, that was good for you. No, nope. that was good. You for know, because people talk about head and shoulders, and I'm like, what's? I said to Chiro one day, what's head and shoulders? I don't even understand what. Or walk the wall of worry. I'm like. What is this? That's thing? so <laughs> funny. That's so funny. How about just rate a gap? Let's just rate the gap. Did Jairo <laughs> say that in the room one day when I was off? Oh, that's so funny. He's off. Well, this week. He, he was talking about. He said he was looking at a chart. He said some people would call this head and shoulders, and oh, I'm like, okay. what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not that he did. He said some people would. I'm like, what do you mean head and shoulders? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. I know. And my other favorite, walk the wall of worry. What does that mean? <laughs> well, somebody else. So, yeah, and then, somebody else. And then yesterday, well, the other day we rated the gap. It's perfect because, now, like you said, now you see what well, it, it did work. But even after the fact, this is why it would work. And it yeah. rated 20 points. And, well, you know. I know. And so many people were glad I did that review. And I'm like, oh, my God. Does, you know, it's like, I mean, this is, I mean, like, do, like people are so engaged when we're trading, I guess. They're not even thinking about all that. They're, but, you know. Right. Obviously, that's part of the lazy part of having the room. People just come in; they don't go, they don't do the ratings they should. And again, I, you know, I then I call the trade and they do it. But I mean, obviously, you do better if you go through the process and you see what it's doing. And 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 again, I yeah. think people need to do that. They need to do that so that they can understand what's going on. But anyways, I was talking to a guy yesterday, and he never traded his life, and he used to be a stockbroker. I said, well, this is completely different. And he was scared of gaps. Like, he was scared thinking gaps are bad. And I'm like, well, that's because you were a stockbroker and people would lose money in gaps that you were telling right. my stock. <laughs> you know, and, um, and then, and so he's worried what his learning curve would be. I'm like, I have no idea. I said, I've taught people that are brand new and some of them do great. And you're a good example of that because they don't have any bad habits. Then again, I've taught people that have terrible habits and they do awful because they, like, remember I said about the guy that said he had 600 indicators. That was completely just blew my mind. Like, that guy is never going to be able to trade right with 600 it's indicators. It's just so overwhelming. It's like, oh, I, have, how, I have a headache thinking about 600 indicators. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. But, you know, less is more. That There's one of my phrases. There you less go. Is more. Yeah, there you, you go. Know? That's another just, Alyssa phrase. There's a, that's a yeah. Melissa thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there less you go. Is well, that's so funny. That's a that's great because, um, yeah, I think, again, everyone has a different learning curve, but it doesn't matter. If you don't get on the train, you're never going to learn it. So you either get on the train or you don't get on the train. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like putting it on right. that you're not going to learn it because you're afraid because you're new. 
I mean, I don't know what it is about people not wanting to learn new things after they get over a certain age. I don't know if it's 30, 40, 50. It's, uh, people well, don't I think it's anymore. harder. It's hard, and you and probably people want the confidence in themselves because they can't, they don't think they can learn new things. Like it's it takes a little longer. That's but crazy. I, I went back for my nurse practitioner, and I was fifty years old, and I never. So I came from. I graduated my uh, BSN program in nineteen eighty three, uh -huh. just out of college, and we took notes. Everything was handwritten. So now I'm going into my master's, and now everything's on computer, and and and. If, my kids helped me with it, and I still hate, like, I hate writing email. I'd rather write, like, a handwritten mail. I hate all that stuff, oh but I do God. it. Yeah. So then, and, you know, charting, uh -huh. you know, charting on patient care, all on the computer, so. Yeah, I mean, so it's I guess, hard, I but you can do it. Taking notes helps.